Hello, genealogists. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy. So today's Thanksgiving. And when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of Massachusetts. So I went looking for a Massachusetts book I like, one that will be helpful in your research if you're interested in early Boston. And yes, I know the first Thanksgiving was actually at Berkeley Plantation in Virginia. But being a Virginian, I believe that. At least I think I'm a Virginian. I never can tell anymore what I am. So this book is called Boston Beginnings 1630 to 1699. It's by J. Mac Holbrook. He did it in 1980. And basically, it is on a surface a list of individuals that live in Boston between that period of time and what records he, in fact, found to find those people. And the the, the columns are the name of the individual. They're listed alphabetically by surname and as spelled in the documents. And they use standard abbreviations for various military ranks like captain, lieutenant, sergeant, and then things like senior and junior and esquire. The second column is the year of the information. The third column describes the purpose of the record with the associated numerical value when appropriate, it describes apprentices, births, birth of a son, children listed, church member, death, death age, estate value in pounds, freemen, land grants and acres, landowner marriage, migrated in, migrated out, oath of allegiance, petitioner, resident, schoolmaster, subscription rate in pence, taxable heads, tax list, and tax rates in pence. And the fourth and final column is the source of information. So basically, it's name, year of record, purpose of the record, and the source. When there are digits associated with a source, that refers to the page number in the source. We see things like um, Richard Ackerman, 1695, resident, and it's in BOSB 76158. Well, there's also a list of what those things mean, BOS 8, 76 is Boston, 1876, first report of the record of commissioners, second edition, 1881, and it's on page 158. And I'm thinking also some of these reports of the commissioners, Heritage Books is published, so I'll pull those at some point and do... Um, something related to them at some point in the future, because we have several volumes of the reports of the records of Commissioner of Boston in print, and they're also an excellent source to get to early residents. One of the nice things about this book, in addition to the thousands of names that are in it, is that he provides an analysis of rates of growth, Boston demographics, uh, landowners, those kind of things by year. It appears that there were, in 1630, 204 people living in Boston. Now, I don't know of a book on first families of Boston, but I'm going to go look for one because that's the kind of thing I do. But somebody ought to be talking about those 204 people. And by 1700, and this book goes to 1699, there are 7,270 people in Boston. And this population increase represents an annual growth rate of 5.2%. But the truth is that there was significant migration into Boston in the 1640 time period. And the growth rate after that date is probably more representative. But fixing the number of people in 1640 is kind of difficult because the population varies depending on whether you're talking about landowners or passenger lists. And those are basically what he used for calculators. If the number of landowners is multiplied by 5.5, used as the estimator, there are 1062 people in 1640, see table two. If passenger lists are used to determine the population, 2,000 lived in Boston in 1640, see table three. Based on these two different 1640 estimates, population growth in the 17th century Boston ranged from 2.17, based on the 
uh, passenger list at 3.26 based on the landowners. And then another measure he used for population growth, he does he calculates birth and death rates over a 70-year period. And some births, for instance, seem to be missing from 1647 to 1650 and in 1675. Marriage records are non-existent except from 1651 to 1662 and from 1689 to 1702. And he goes on and tells us what the deficiencies in the records are. I, I personally care about those kind of things and because it gives me context and I love context. Context helps me figure out what else to look for. If you're interested in early Boston, this book by J. Mac Holbrook, Boston Beginning 1630 1699, is an excellent resource for putting all the names together. It's sort of a list of inhabitants of Boston from 1630 to 1639. So, what I would like to do is to offer it to you at a 40% discount because it's Thanksgiving and we should always have a 40% discount for something on Thanksgiving. And the code will be Boston40. So I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. I will have a happy Thanksgiving. I think I'm going to fast for 48 hours just for fun. While everybody else is stuffing themselves. Too much fun. So this is Craig. This is Just Genealogy and a short one today because it's Thanksgiving. So Boston 40. And I'll put a link below so that you can get to the book easier. As I go through, I have to go through all the old videos and fix them and add links and do all kinds of things to make it easier for you to find books. But you're genealogists. You can find books, right? Anyway, my job is to help you find books that might be of interest to you. Again, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you tomorrow.